Good morning, guys. Welcome back. Today is our second session related to Java real-time project development. So before going to start the project, first I want to know from you what is software project. Okay. And next question, why to develop software projects? Why to develop software projects? What type of projects will be there in IT industry? Software projects in IT industry, right? That we are going to understand now. What do you mean by software project? Why we are joining for this course? To develop a project. My question, what is your project? My question is, what is your project? Come on. Software project is nothing but collection of programs. What is that, guys? Software project is nothing but collection of programs. Some front-end programs will be available. Some back-end programs will be available. So many Java classes we are going to develop. If you combine all the Java classes, then one project will be ready. Software project, nothing but collection of programs we are developing. Okay. Why to develop these software projects, guys? What is the purpose of developing a software project? Why? Huh. Software projects are used to reduce human efforts, simplify human's life. Simplify human's life. Simple example. Earlier, if you want to book a train ticket, you should go to railway station. You should stand in the queue. You need to book the train ticket. But today, IRCTC. Within five minutes, you can book a ticket by using your mobile. So it is reducing your time. It is simplifying your life. Okay. Earlier, suppose if you want to get some food from hotel to your home. Okay, then you should go to hotel, you should take a token, you should stand in the queue, collect the food, come to home. Minimum 30 to 40 minutes of time you have to spend. Today, Zomato Swiggy. If you place the order, within 15 minutes, the food delivery coming to your home. Earlier, if you want to purchase a mobile, go to mobile store and check that. Today, Amazon Flipkart is available. So these all software projects are reducing human efforts. They are simplifying human's life. Earlier, if I want to transfer money, I should go to the bank, fill up the form, deposit the money to the other account. Today, Google Pay, Phone Pay, Net Banking, Mobile Banking is available. So these all are the software projects which are reducing human efforts. Whatever the work we are doing in one hour, with the software project we are completing in five minutes of time. Software projects, nothing but collection of programs. Collection of programs is called as software project that a software project is used to reduce human efforts and the software project is going to simplify human's life. More work we are able to do in the less time by using this software project. Are you clear? What is software project, guys? What do you mean by software project? Software project, nothing but collection of programs. Why to develop these software projects? To reduce human efforts and to simplify human's life. So software projects in IT industry. What type of projects are available in the IT industry? Tomorrow, when you join in a company, you will be allocated to one software project, guys. So what type of projects will be available in the IT industry? So you need to understand. First one is scratch development projects will be available. Scratch development projects will be available. And the next one, maintenance projects will be available. Scratch development projects will be available. And maintenance projects will be available. And the third one, third one, migration projects will be available. So when you go for a software company, you will be working with any one of this category. Your project may come into scratch development. Or your project may come into maintenance. Your project may come into migration. So in the IT industry, whatever the projects we are developing, we can categorize them into three types, guys. 
what are those three types scratch development maintenance and migration okay what is the meaning of scratch development project when we say scratch development project it is a brand new project completely we are developing from very beginning level we'll create a project we'll create the classes we'll create the database we will do everything from the starting from the zero level we are going to start the project development that kind of a projects are called as scratch development project if you get the opportunity to work with a scratch development project you are the luckiest person in the it industry why because you will start involving in the project from the zero level you will understand everything about the project project architecture project functionalities project database design project servers project deployment project code review and you will write the code on your own so if you get the chance to work with scratch development project i'm saying that you are the luckiest person within 2 years you will become all rounder in the it industry you will work with the database you will work with the front end you will work with the back end you will work with the linux machine you will work with the devops you will work with the security also everything we are going to develop in that project okay scratch development projects if you get na don't lose that chance guys because it is very 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 rare to get the chance to work with the scratch development project if you work in the scratch development project technically you will become very very strong and you will get the opportunity to work with the multiple technologies front end technologies back end technologies database cloud linux everything you will see everything in front of you everything will happen in front of you in the project that is called scratch development come on can you tell me what is the meaning of scratch development scratch development means brand new projects which will start from which will start from zero level which will start from zero level but in the industry in the it companies the scratch development projects are only 15% if you take 100 projects only 15 projects are the scratch development project that means it is very rare nowadays so many projects are already developed so new coming new projects only 15% of new projects will be available in the it industry if you get the chance to work with the scratch development you are the luckiest person okay next one another one is maintenance project are it is called as a support project maintenance project are support projects will be available in the it industry in the industry 80% of the projects are comes into this category nothing but maintenance projects are support projects sir what is the meaning of maintenance project project development already completed project already delivered to the client also project is running in the market so in the existing project we are adding some new functionalities in the existing project we are changing some existing functionality in the project we are finding the bugs and we are fixing the bugs so such a kind of project comes under maintenance maintenance projects nothing but maintenance projects means we are providing support for the running projects we are providing the support for the running projects in this support project what kind of work will be sir already project is completed project is delivered to the client then why we need to work for that project which is already completed na come on project already developed project already delivered to the client then what we need to do in that project what kind of maintenance will be available what kind of support will be available in that project so in the existing project we are going to get the requirement for new enhancements what is that guys new enhancements so what is the meaning of new enhancement so earlier earlier we have a project called irctc earlier we are having a project called irctc initially irctc came into market to book the train tickets guys initially irctc came into market in the 2012 or 13 right in 2010 i think so 
in at that time what functionality there in the IRCTC only train tickets booking is available that is delivered to the client people accessed in the 2012-2011 after few years in the IRCTC project they added they added functionality to book the food also so if you are having a train journey you can book the food also in the IRCTC application okay and you can book the hotels also by using this application like this one functionality already available they want to add some extra functionality in the existing project which is called as new enhancements what is the meaning of new enhancement adding new functionality in the existing application adding new functionalities in the existing project is called enhancements guys then next one in the project there is a chance of getting change request my project is already available but i want to change the functionality according to today's market situation i developed my project in the 2020 now today business scenario changed i want to, earlier simple example i will tell you earlier earlier ashok it website is there now whenever ashok it is starting new batch whenever we are starting a new batch by using our ashok it website we want to send a message to the students tomorrow my spring boot batch is starting i want to send a message to the students which are available in the ashok it website so you created account your contact number will be available whenever a new batch is starting i want to send a text message to your mobile number from my website I want to send a text because assume that there are 50,000 students data is available. I cannot send message to 50,000 people manually. So I need to automate. I will write a program to send the message to 50,000 people as a text message. So in 2020, I have implemented the logic in my website to send a text message to the people. But to today, anybody opening the text message in the mobile? Anybody opening the text message in the mobile? Today everything is WhatsApp message. Now I want to send the message to the student in the WhatsApp. I want to send a message to the student in the WhatsApp. So my website should send a message to your WhatsApp number directly. In the 2020 what I implemented? I implemented a functionality to send the text message. But today's situation is different. In 2020 that is okay text message. But in the 2024 people are not reading the text messages i want to change the functionality to send a whatsapp message to the student regarding the new batches can i say it is a change request now can i say it is a change request now already message sending is available so in 2020 that is okay but after four years the requirement got changed the business model got changed the student mindset got changed they are not reading the text messages but definitely they will read the whatsapp message so now i need to send a whatsapp message to the student from my website so here already one functionality available i want to change that functionality according to my business model according to today's market situation i want to change the functionality that is called as change request that is called as a change request what is the meaning of new enhancement adding the new functionality to the existing application is called as a new enhancement what is the meaning of change request modify existing functionality modify existing you understand the scenario earlier my website was used to send whatsapp i mean normal text message today my website will send whatsapp message i have changed the existing message i want to send earlier it is used to send text message now it is sending whatsapp message i have changed it it is called change request modifying existing functionality according to business model is called change request and the next one next one when you go for maintenance project now there will be a problem called bug fixing my project is running but in my project there are some issues available some functionalities are not working as expected then we need to find out the problem and we need to fix the problem that is comes under bug fixing that comes under 
bug fixing so when you go for maintenance project guys then you will get the task related to these three categories so you may get a task to develop new enhancement in the pro already code is available it is right suppose if you see sbi bank sbi bank net banking application already available but for the sbi bank project today in the tcs 2000 developers are available they are giving the support for the project what kind of support they are giving they are adding new functionalities to the sbi project whatever functionality they want to change change request are available if any bug comes in the sbi project there is a team to fix that bugs also bug fixing will be available change request will be available new enhancements will be available and this bug fixing team is also called as fraud support to team the team is also called as a production support to team what is the responsibility of the production support team they need to identify what issues are coming in the application on day to day activities every day morning they will go to office and they will check application log file today any exception occurred in the project if any exception occurred where that exception occurred in which program in which method which line number what is the root cause of the problem they are going to find out root cause of the problems in the application and they are going to fix the problems and they will deploy the latest code to the production so that kind of production support team will be available in the company for every project production support also will be available production support nothing but monitoring the application behavior in the live so now we are accessing irctc there is a chance of getting some error in the irctc code when you are booking a ticket why that error occurred what is the root cause of that error some dedicated team will be available in the company to monitor the errors in the application that team is called as a production support are you able to understand yes so what is the meaning of software project come on i want you to open your mouth respond what is the meaning of software project collection of programs is called as a software project why we need to develop the software projects software projects are used to reduce human efforts software projects are used to reduce human efforts and they are, it is also used to simplify the humans life what type of projects available in the it scratch development projects available maintenance projects available migration projects also available what is the meaning of scratch development from the zero level we are going to start what is the benefit for us what is the benefit lot of learnings will be available you can learn so many things in your professional career because you will see everything which is happening in the project coding you are going to write deployments you are going to do database tables you are going to create front end you will develop back end you will develop you will integrate you will implement security you will use the tools you will do the deployment you will involve in complete sdlc life cycle guys when you go for scratch development technically you will become very strong if you work in the scratch development project and you will become all rounder in the it industry because you will get the chance to work with so many technologies in the project next one maintenance projects are available in the market what is the meaning of a maintenance projects project development already completed project is already delivered to the client also then what we need to do in that project according to client requirement new enhancements will be available according to business requirement change request will be available and production running application running in the production production means a live any project that you are accessing that is a production application you are accessing gmail.com gmail production application you are accessing facebook.com we are accessing production production nothing but live application you are going to access when customers are accessing our application there is a chance of getting the problem in the code there is a chance of getting some errors in our code okay why that errors are coming we need to find out root cause of the problem and we need to fix the problem a dedicated team will be available to do that that team is called production support to team are you clear so in this online batch online people how many of you working in the production support 
Anybody who is from production support? Anybody is there who is part of production support in the company? Nobody? Huh. If you go for production support guys, you cannot learn much things in the project because every day you will just monitor the logs of the application, you will just analyze the problem, you will not get the chance to do the code in the project. Okay? Now you see, I am from USA, I am from pod support, Pranit, Narsimha Reddy from the production support, Pramod Sahu is from the production support. So they are in the production support. So when you go for production support, learnings will not be that much great in the project. Okay? Suppose if you are part of scratch development, you can learn lot of things. When you go for maintenance project, na, work will be hectic guys. Why? Because you need to fix the problem in the application. You need to identify the problem in the code that code is developed by some person. That code is developed by other team member. You need to execute that code. You need to find out the problem and you need to fix the problem. If you do some mistake in the code, existing project will break. So if you if you do a minor change in the maintenance project, na, it may affect on some other functionality in the project. So proper analysis, proper impact analysis we have to do before making any changes to the project which is under maintenance. So work will be hectic. The work will be headache work will be available when you go for the maintenance project because you need to modify something which is already available. If you make a small change that may impact at some other place in the project. So you need to be very, 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 very careful when you are working in the maintenance project. Unfortunately, in the industry, 80% of the projects are under maintenance only. So tomorrow when you go to the company, when you join, 99% you will be part of a maintenance project only. 1% chance is there to go to the scratch development. Are you getting my point? So you need to prepare your mind. Okay, tomorrow I am going to work for the maintenance project. What is the meaning of a maintenance project? Already it is available. I need to modify the code on the existing application. I need to develop a new functionality in the existing project. I need to change the functionality in the existing project. I need to find out the problems in the existing code. So this kind of work will be available when you go for maintenance project. Are you able to follow me? So 99% you will go to maintenance project only in the IT industry because 80% of the projects are under maintenance only. So if you want to work in the maintenance project, debugging skills are very, very, very important. So you need to find out a problem. Thousand lines of code is available. How you will identify where is the problem in the thousand lines? By looking at the code, can you understand the problem? No. You need to debug that program line by line and you need to understand the problem and you need to fix the problem. Debugging is very, very important. Okay. Next up. Third category of the projects are called as migration projects. Migration projects means converting project from one technology to another technology. Earlier projects are developed 10-20 years back almost. If you see banking application, if you see HDFC bank, ICIC, Access Bank, City Bank, whatever the banks. Their banks are available from so many years. From 20 years, from 30 years, those banks are available. At that time also, for the bank, software projects are available. Most of the banking applications, guys, 20 years back, 30 years back, developed by using one technology called IBM Mainframes. What is the technology? IBM Mainframes technology they used to develop the banking applications because so 30 years back this is Spring Boot, this is Java and all not that much famous. Spring Boot is not available. Java was there but at that time people developed the projects by using IBM Mainframes. But today in 2020 onwards IBM Mainframes technology not available in the market. Anybody learning IBM Mainframes? Will you get any support for the project? No. IBM itself told that we are shutting down the mainframes technology 
don't use our mainframes technology to develop your projects now but what about already running projects on the mainframes suppose i have a mainframe project i want to add some new functionality can i get a developer for that no so that's the reason in the industry what is happening is whatever the projects are developed with the old technologies legacy technologies now those projects are converting into latest technologies that is called migration that is called migration so migration projects means converting project from one technology to another technology mainframes application now we are converting into spring boot micro services application mainframes application we are converting into spring boot and micro services application guys for example earlier my project is developed by using servlets and jsp jdbc servlets and jsp jdbc plus servlets plus jsp i used to develop that project 10 years back when this spring boot is not available i developed that project by using jdbc servlet and jsp now today i want to migrate that application into spring boot plus angular i want to migrate that project from spring boot to angular and another thing i will tell you one scenario earlier two months back two months back if you see ashoka id website was there in the php technology so initially when i started ashoka id in the covid 2020 so i was i don't have that much time to develop the entire project so i have given my task to one of the developer one of my friend is there he is a php developer so he is free at that time he is doing the freelancing i have given some amount i told my requirement to the developer he developed one php project for me to keep ashoka id website but later point of time that person got busy he got married then when i want to change some functionality in the php i am not able to do why because i don't know php because the institute is every year the business model is changing every year new courses are coming new screens earlier this events functionality not available in the website free workshops was not there earlier and earlier the job updates posting was not there in the website earlier the whatsapp message sending functionality not available in the website so based on the year by year new requirements are coming i'm adding in the project so now every time when i want to add a new functionality in the project what i need to do i need to contact php developer so that php developer is busy okay he is busy sometimes he is available sometimes not available and another thing every time when i give the new task i have to pay the money for that person he will not do the per free of cost because he is also a developer he is having a personal life professional life i need to pay the money for the developer to make some changes in my website and the thing is first thing i have to explain the functionality to that person that functionality he has to understand properly and he has to develop after developing i have to test it again and i have to pay the money also instead of that i have redeveloped the same project by using spring boot and angular now i know spring boot and angular if i want to change anything i will sit one weekend i will change my functionality in the project do i need to contact any person now no do i need to pay anything for anybody no do i need to invest much time for development for testing no because i am the business owner i know the complete clarity i have the complete clarity on the requirement what i want i know that i will develop on my own so that is the reason last 3 months back we have redeveloped ashoka it project completely by using spring boot micro services and angular tomorrow if i want to change something if i sit for 2 hours i can change my functionality because it is in the java i know java i am a java developer i can change anything according to my business requirement so why i migrated this project from php to spring boot why i migrated this project from php to spring boot come on maintenance is easy what is the advantage maintenance is easy if i want to change anything i can do it on my own if i want change something i can give some task to students also right? this is one of the real time scenario can you please implement this scenario for me and write the code so i will test that code i will add in my project so that is real time project development scenarios if i am busy i will take the best candidates in the class 
I will tell the task to them, boss, I want this functionality in my project. Can you implement that? If you implement properly, I can take your code. I can add in my project. You will get some real time knowledge on that. If I am free, I can only do that. If I am not free, I have students. 100 people are there who got trained on Java, Spring Boot, microservices, Angular. If I tell some requirement, can you do it? You will get the chance to work on the, pro that is the scenario behind this. That is the reason I have changed this project to Spring Boot and Angular. You got my point? So there are still so many changes are there that I want to implement in this project. So I will find, I will document all the requirements and I will explain you. If you are interested, you can join with me in order to complete those requirements for our website. So then you will get the real time task and you can participate in the project development. You got my point. In the Ashoka ID website, lot of functionality is available guys. Student login is available. Payment gateway is available. Trainer login is available. Admin login is available. Counselor login is available. And if you see, so now we are logging as a faculty. When you log in as a faculty, faculty will get the access only to upload the nodes. Suppose if you log in with uh, some other credential. Suppose if I log in with my student login. Okay. This is student login. When I log in as a student, what functionality available? Enroll for course. Suppose you want to enroll for Java full stack, Java real time project available. Click here to enroll. So course is displaying. Now, if you want backup videos, 12,000. If you don't want backup videos, 9,000. Okay. Click on proceed to payment. Then immediately payment gateway is coming. So you, if you do the payment here, then the course will be added to your portal. You can access the videos. You can access the notes and everything. Live purchase is available in our website. Okay, next one. Any free workshops you attended, those will be available in your dashboard. If you register for a free workshop, that will display. If you go for customer support, if you have any issue, if you want to take a break from the course, you can select the course which you join, you can submit a complaint. So admin team will get a message. Okay, this person want to take a break, he want to join for the next batch. If anybody want to, suppose you join for this course, you have done the payment due to some health issue or due to some family issue, you want to go to hometown for one month. You want you, do, you are unable to continue. You want to join in the next batch. Then you need to submit a complaint. So due to my personal issue, I am taking a break from the 28 JRTP. I can go for 29 JRTP. So that kind of complaint you can apply here. And my profile is available. You can change your password. You get personal details, education details. You can submit. Okay, company details. If you have any experience, you can submit. So this functionality is available for student login and counselor login will be available. So if you see, I will use Shilpa credentials. If I log in, now counselor dashboard is available. So what are the inquiries available for the courses? How many students are coming to Ashok IT to inquire for your course? How many trainers are coming to Ashok IT to teach here? What are the software companies are coming here to recruit the candidates? How many students got the jobs? What are the daily inquiries we are getting in our website? Daily leads we are going to get? Any complaint student is rising? The complaints which are available here? Any job applications? View enrollments concepts? The people who join for the courses? Those details will be available. So this is counselor login. You have seen student login. You have seen faculty login. You have seen counselor login. Then next. Admin login will be available. Admin login will be available. Who is going to create the courses in the website? Who is going to schedule the batches in the website? Who is going to post the jobs in the website? Who is going to create the free workshops in the website? Lot of functionality is available. So it has taken almost six months of time to develop this project. Lot of functionality is available. If you develop this project, you are equal to four years experience developer. Those many requirements are there. In the Amirpet, no institute is having this kind of website, which is completely automated. The notes, everything, notes, WhatsApp messages, payments, everything is automated in the website because I have the idea on my business and I am a developer. That is the advantage. So that's the reason, according to my business scenario, I completely developed this application. You got my point? Now, I want to change something in my project. I can do it on my own because it is in my language. It is in Java. I am from Java background. So what is the meaning of migration projects now? What is the meaning of migration projects? 
migration projects means converting the project from one technology to another technology sir why we are converting project from one technology to another technology for maintenance only i told you earlier that was in php if i want to change something i need to pay the money to the developer and i need to wait for his free time that is another money is not a issue okay because business is running i can pay the money but what is the biggest problem time he will tell that this week i am not free i have my project work this week i cannot do this task this week please wait next one week after one week i will do your implementation but i don't want to wait that one week of time i don't have that much time i have a immediate requirement and after his development can he develop completely according to my ideas no i need to explain him properly after the development also there is some gap so i am a client he is a developer this project belongs to me i am a client he is a developer there will be some miscommunication there will be some misunderstandings also then i have to test it again development i have to wait 10 days for testing i have to spend another one week of time so it is wasting my time and waste of money also because lot of time is getting wasted that's the reason i migrated from php to java now i have the java people and i am from java i can change anything according to my requirement no need to wait for someone no need to wait for someone i can do it and if it is priority then if it is anything urgent then i will do one night out and i will complete that functionality are you guys clear so when you go for it company you will be working with uh, these three types of projects guys you will be working with these three types of projects in the industry 5% of the projects are under migration okay 5% of the projects are under migration nothing but they developed by using old technologies now they are migrating into latest technology for easy maintenance of our applications are you clear what is scratch development what is the meaning of scratch development brand new projects we are going to develop that is called scratch development what is the maintenance what is the meaning of maintenance already project is developed we are going to work on enhancements adding a new functionality we are going to work on change request we are going to work on bug fixing nothing but production support what do you mean by production support identify the problems in the application analyze the problem fix the problem okay next what is the meaning of what is the meaning of this migration changing the projects from one technology to another technology that is called as a migration project okay so projects are developed in the old technologies now we want to migrate to the latest technologies available in the market okay good fine and migration can come like this also guys earlier my project is developed by using jdk 1.8 version now i want to migrate to jdk 21 version that is also a migration so java project is developed long back by using 1.8 version now i want to migrate the project to jdk 21 version that also comes and version change also comes under migration only one is technology migration another one in the same technology version migration also will be available i want to migrate from old version of java to latest version of java so migration means a technology migration can happen or version migration also can happen in the industry are you clear okay good anybody attended any interview as of now in the companies one person okay two what is your experience how is the interview process okay how, how many rounds completed how many rounds happened two rounds what is the first round screening round technical questions or system test okay coding they are asking problem solving okay you sir how many interviews you attended two interviews okay what is the process first is aptitude waste
technical round is there. direct okay what kind of questions they are asking hmm sql okay good core java and sql they are asking you attended as a fresher okay good fine now we are going to understand how the interview process online people anybody attended you have two offers promote very good database migrations also will be available yes sir we will see that <clears throat> fine so we understood types of software projects guys types of software projects i hope you got the clarity scratch development project migration project maintenance projects will be available which one is good for our career scratch why you will get the chance to become all rounder in the technology okay which is the headache maintenance project is the headache why it is headache somebody developed code you have to test and you have to modify if you do a small mistake project will fail so you need to be very 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 careful when you are working in the maintenance project if you want to work in the maintenance project you should be very strong in the debugging guys to understand the other developer code you should be very strong in the debugging good luckily in my career i never worked with maintenance project i did not get that chance to work with the maintenance project so my career started with the scratch development project for four years i worked on the scratch development from last six seven years i am working on the migration projects only in my current company in my previous companies also i was working for banking sector i told you banking projects available from last 30 years those projects developed by using mainframes we are migrating the mainframes projects to java spring boot microservices in my current company in my previous company also migration only in the last recent two companies in first two companies i luckily i got the chance to work with scratch development that's the reason i got the subject lot of subject lot of technologies technically i became very strong because of this scratch development projects only because everything we need to do from database table creation to till front end development deployment linux machines creations cloud infrastructure everything we have to do on our own our team is called as all rounder team so there is no testing team there is no database team there is no devops team only development team is responsible for everything in the scratch development project so that is the reason i got technically very strong knowledge on java angular boot microservice linux aws cloud also because we got the opportunity to learn all these things as part of scratch development so luckily i i was never part of maintenance project so i am part of scratch development and migration good good fine so we understood what is a software development project and what type of projects are available next one software companies guys let's understand about soft i asked some people what is the interview process that you have faced now you will get the clarity when you are going for the interview what is the process that they are going to follow to conduct the interviews for you so in the industry whatever the companies are available right we can categorize those companies into three types guys one is called product based company and second one is called service based company and third one is called outsourcing company okay first one is called product based company second one is called service based company and the third one is called outsourcing company so tomorrow when you are going for the interview you should know that the company belongs to which category you should know suppose tomorrow if you are having a interview in the accenture company accenture belongs to which category that you need to understand tomorrow if you are going for interview in the oracle company what is the category right so you should understand that scenario what is the meaning of product based companies guys product based companies guys develop and sell product to customers directly these companies are going to nobody will give the requirements for the company the company will have r and d team 
research and development team will be available for the company that r and d team will analyze the market situation what are the gaps available in the it industry in the customers they are going to find out they will get the new ideas with their ideas they will develop a software project and they will sell that software project to the customers in the market are you able to follow this now if you take example microsoft anybody telling to microsoft to develop windows operating system no that bill gates got the idea to develop that windows operating system he developed it and he is selling that to the customers directly in the market are you guys getting oracle company is there they developed oracle database anybody told to the company to develop a database no they got the idea to develop the database and they are selling that database to the customers in the market so what is the meaning of a product based company the company which is going to develop a project and sell the project to the customer is called as a product based company what are the examples for that what are the examples amazon amazon microsoft google apple apple mang apple netflix netflix is there anybody telling to netflix to develop a project like that no they developed that project they are selling the movies for you so they will develop a project and they will sell that project to the customers directly such a kind of companies are called as product based companies okay next one service based companies guys so what these service based companies will do develop project develop a project based on client requirement develop the project based on the client requirement so i want to start one business i want to start one travels business for my travels business i want one website so then i will go to a company i will tell my requirement to them based on my requirement they will develop the project they will give the project for me that means they are providing the service for me they are providing service for me any company which is developing a project based on client requirement those companies are called as service based companies so the example tcs infosys cognizant hcl deloitte techm wipro accenture all these companies comes under service based companies what these companies will do what these companies will do ha huh. these companies will develop the project based on the client given requirement the company which is developing a project based on the client given requirement is called as service based company what is the meaning of a product based company the companies which are developing a project and selling the project to the customers directly in the market is called as product based company and the third category outsourcing companies are available so sell software engineers to other companies they are going to do the business so they will take you as their employee and they will sell you to some other company on the contract basis such a kind of companies are called as outsourcing companies nowadays 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 most of service based companies are doing outsourcing business also outsourcing companies are available what is the meaning of outsourcing company they will sell software engineers to other companies guys so nowadays most of service based companies are doing this outsourcing business sir what will happen here see you are selected for a company called hcl hcl belongs to which category hcl belongs to service based company now assume that <coughs> i have so many friends who are working in the hcl now you got selected for hcl company hcl company now assume that you are a person you are a java developer you got selected for the hcl company then hcl company is paying 
सिक्स लैक्स पर एन एम एल पी ए यूर पैकेज सिक्स एल पी ए यू आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम द एच सी एल कंपनी एंड यू आर ए जावा डेवलपर दट इज ए सर्विस बेस्ड कंपनी नाउ हियर देर इज ए अनदर कंपनी कॉल्ड डी बी एस कंपनी इज अवेलेबल डेवलपमेंट बैंक ऑफ सिंगापुर सो दिस इज ए सिंगापुर बैंकिंग कंपनी दे आर इन द हैदराबाद ऑल्सो डी बी एस बैंक इज अवेलेबल नाउ डी बी एस बैंक वॉन्ट जावा डेवलपर डी बी एस वॉन्ट जावा डेवलपर सो इफ दे वॉन्ट जावा डेवलपर दे नीड टू डू द जॉब पोस्टिंग इन द नौकरी देन स्टूडेंट्स विल आई मीन एम्प्लॉज विल अप्लाई दे शुड कंडक्ट द इंटरव्यू दे शुड सेलेक्ट द कैंडिडेट दे शुड सेलेक्ट द कैंडिडेट and they have to wait two months three months of time for the candidate to join in the company are you getting my point but dbs want immediately 10 java developers if they want to select the candidate it may take two to three months of time for them it will take two to three months of time to get the candidate into the company so that's why what the dbs will do dbs will contact hcl company hey hcl we need 10 java developers can you send your employees to us can you give your employees to us for one year of time one year contract one year contract is there can you give me 10 java developers for one year contract okay then what hcl will do hcl will send this java developer to the dbs company so you got selected for which company hcl but what hcl is doing hcl send, selling you to dbs company then here hcl company will be called as your parent company and dbs bank will be called as your client company you got selected for hcl but you will go to dbs office because hcl selected you for 6 lakhs package hcl selling you to dbs bank then what dbs will do dbs company will pay 10 lakhs per annum for this candidate then hcl will take the 4 lakhs profit hcl will give you 6 lakhs salary only that is the outsourcing business now it is most of the service based companies are doing this outsourcing business only so in my present company i am also working for one bank so my bank employees are directly we are direct employee to our bank okay in my team hcl employees are available cap gemini employees are available cognizant employees also available three companies employees are working for my project so what are those people they are contract employees for my company so that hcl that cap gemini that cognizant selling the employees to my bank on contract basis i am permanent employee for my bank okay and there are 10 people who are from the different different companies we are working for the same project once our project work is completed what my company will do it will remove these 10 people then they will go back to their parent company then what their parent company will do they will find another client they will send you to another company after one year this is the funda in the it industry nowadays so service based companies are doing outsourcing business so when there is a outsourcing business you will have two company id cards guys one is parent company id card will be available another one client company id card will be available every day we will go to which office client office only every day we will go to client office client id will be available client id card will be available but you will get the salary from which company ha huh. offer letter salary pay slip experience letter relieving letter hike everything pf everything you will get from the parent company but the work you will do for the client company so the companies who are doing this kind of business those companies are called as outsourcing okay cognizant is doing outsourcing hcl is doing outsourcing tech mahindra doing outsourcing wipro is doing outsourcing accenture is doing outsourcing so many companies service based companies are doing this outsourcing business service based companies are selling the employees to product based companies on the contract basis for the high salary hcl will give you 6 lakhs only but what hcl will take from the dbs 10 to 15 lakhs they will take on your name so that is a profit for the hcl they will give you 6 lakhs package per year now one year you worked for dbs in the dbs project is completed then what will happen ha huh, this contract is completed one year contract completed then 
you will stop going to the DBS. Then HCL is finding another company. HCL is finding another company. There is a bank called JP Morgan Bank is available. After one year, you worked for DBS. Project completed. You will come back to HCL. Then HCL got another business. G JPMC Bank, JP Morgan Chase. They want Java developers. Then HCL will send you to JP Morgan Bank. So your parent company and your client company in the industry, 80% of software engineers are working like this only. They are working for the client companies, but they got selected for the parent company. 90% of service based companies are doing this outsourcing business today. Are you guys getting how many types of companies available in the IT? Three types of companies are available in the IT. What are those three? Yeah. Product based companies, service based companies and outsourcing. What is the meaning of product based? The companies which are going to develop and sell the product to the customers directly. That is called product based company. What is the meaning of service based company? Develop the project based on the client requirement. So if client is giving the requirement, we will develop the project, we will deliver. Company which is providing a service to the client is called service based company. Then what is outsourcing company? What is outsourcing company? Companies will select candidate and will give the candidates to other company. They will supply software engineers to the other companies. They will sell software engineers to other companies on contract basis. Sell software engineers to other companies on contract basis. I told you an example. HCL is taking the employees. HCL will send the employees to other product based companies available in the market. In my company, there are three different company employees are working. In my project, HCL team members available, Capgeni team is available, Cognizant team is also available. So every day, I need to assign the task to the team members who are from the different companies. So I am a permanent employee to my bank, but my team members from the different companies. HCL, Cognizant, Capgemini. Those are contract employees for my company. I am permanent employee to my company. So permanent jobs will be available. Contract jobs also will be available in the IT industry. Are you able to follow? Now, in these three categories, guys, getting the job in the product-based company is difficult. Getting the job in the product-based company is difficult because they will not ask any questions on Java. They will not ask any questions on Spring Boot, microservices, cloud and all. They will ask questions only on the data structures and algorithms. They will ask questions only on the data structures and algorithms. Coding test will be available. System design will be available. Problem solving. Five to six rounds of coding test will be available when you go for product based company interview process is very very difficult in the product based company but if you crack the interview in the product based company salary will be very 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 high salary will be very 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 high when you go for product based company so the interview process in the product based company coding test will be available system design questions will be available problem solving will be available Problem solving will be available. So simply they will tell that I want to develop a application like Instagram. Can you tell me what is the architecture that you need to follow? That is called system design. So they will tell you the requirement. They will give you one or two days. Interview will not happen one day. When you go for a product based company, interview process will be there for one month of time. Minimum one month of time they are going to take to complete your interview process because they will give the task and they will give time to complete the task also. So they will tell you, you know Instagram, I want to develop a website, a, a application like a Instagram, like Instagram, like Facegram I want to develop. So can you tell me what is your thought process to develop a application like Instagram? You go through the Instagram, check all the functionalities by next week come up with the design document to develop Facegram application, which is a copy of the Instagram. That is a system design question. Okay. And they will ask you in the Java, 
array list class is available but i don't want to use that array list class i want to develop my own list class i want to develop ashok list how to develop our own array list class i have a link list class in the java i don't want to use the link list given by the java i want to develop my own link list class what is the code you will write for that there is a hash map i don't want to use the java hash map i want to develop my own hash map can you write the program for that that kind of questions will be available when you go for product based company what is the time complexity of your program what is space complexity of your program what is big o notations of the space complexity type complexity okay so how you will use the design patterns in the project how you will scale up your application when 1 crore people access your application how your server will respond for that how you will design your application where you will use which design pattern where you will use cache in your application how do you secure your application they will not ask what is array list what is link list they will ask how to develop your own array list class how to develop your own link list class how to develop your own hash map how to develop one project on your own what is the architecture what is the system design suppose i am telling you one application requirement is there i want to develop one bookstore can you design database for the bookstore application in the one week of time next to after one week you send me the database design to develop a bookstore they will tell single requirement i want to develop a bookstore come up with the database design for that what are the tables what are the columns primary keys foreign keys what is the relation what are the constraints everything you have to document 10 15 pages document you have to prepare with the database design in one week of time if your design is correct then you will go for the next round are you getting my point so that's why if you are going to attend product based company interview you need to be very strong in the data structures and algorithms okay they will ask you a question i am having array i want you to sort the array which is sorting technique we are going to use and what is the time complexity of that sorting technique right so data structures and algorithms they are going to ask you simple example i am going to give you some numbers like this now i want you to sort the numbers i want you to sort the numbers in the ascending order without using predefined methods okay so there are several sorting techniques available mage sort available quick sort available selection sort is available insertion sort is also available which is sorting technique is best okay and what is the time complexity of that sorting technique in order to sort the elements available in the array they will ask this question but what amir pet people will do what your faculties will teach in the class arrays dot sort array will be sorted but in, when you go for the interview they will ask you to sort the elements without using the predefined method multiple algorithms you need to explain and you need to explain the time complexity space complexity also so that kind of interview process will be there in the product based company if you want to get the job in the product based company minimum 1 year you have to spend on the data structures and algorithms then only you can crack it otherwise it is not possible otherwise it is not possible okay minimum 1 year you have to do the hard work for the problem solving skills and they will ask you can you show me your coding profile in the hacker rank how many problems you have solved in the hacker rank what is your rating in the lead code what is your rating in the hacker rank you need to show the profile to them in the interview if you have good ranking in the hacker rank then only they will select you if you say that i am coming from amir pet no use so you need to create account in the coding platforms like a hacker rank coding ninjas gigs for gigs lead code code chef code force and you need to solve the problems then your profile will get ranked in that platform okay so if you are having a good ranking in the coding platforms then only you are eligible to go for product based companies are you clear and packages will be very high 
in the product based companies guys interview process what is the interview process in the product based companies coding test system design problem solving data structures algorithms and coding platforms profile in the coding platform hacker rank lead code those platforms you have to use and you have to solve the problems then only you will get shortlisted for the interview okay so now here coming to package guys coming to package experience multiplied by 10 lakhs also they can offer if you are having 3 years experience how much package they can provide 30 lakhs package also they can provide your, your years of experience multiplied by 10 lakhs up to 10 lakhs package also they can offer if you go to Varakil company interview with 3 years experience if you get selected in the Varakil, you can ask 30 lakhs package also with the 3 years experience. 2 years experience, 20 lakhs package also you can ask. Package will be very high when you go for product based company. Interview process is also difficult. So what you need to do to get the job in the product based company? What you need to do to get the job in the product based company? Come on. You need to prepare data structures, algorithms, coding challenges, problem solving, design patterns. Design patterns are very important. Design patterns you should learn. Problem solving you have to learn. System design, coding challenges, data structures, algorithms. So if you prepare these concepts, then only you can attend the interviews in the product based companies package also will be very 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 high when you go for product based company and here this JRTP course is not for product based company guys I'm not going to teach you any data structures here okay this course mainly will help you to get the job in which companies service based companies so what is the meaning of service based company what is the meaning of service based company these companies will develop the project and will sell will, will develop the project based on the client requirement so when you go for service based company what is the interview process nowadays in the service based company also they are conducting coding test guys and they are asking questions on data structures and they are asking questions on algorithms then they will ask the questions on Core Java, Spring Boot, Microservices. After Core Java, no advanced Java questions. Nobody will ask you. After Core Java, directly Spring Boot. After Spring Boot, Microservices. Then they will ask you questions on the cloud. So this is what the interview process when you go for service-based company. Okay. So sometimes they will ask you front-end also. Angular at least one front end framework either angular or react if you know any one that is fine You got it. So when you are going to attend the interview in the service based company first coding test will be available coding test or system test They will give you task. They will ask you to develop then data structures nowadays data structures is very 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 common in every interview without having the knowledge on the data structures it is very very difficult to crack the interview sorting techniques searching techniques time complexity space complexity you have to learn next core java mainly from the core java java 8 collections they are going to ask then directly after core java they will go to spring boot nobody will ask questions on jdbc Sarlet, and jsp very rare maybe one or two questions only that's it don't waste much time for learning advanced java concepts nowadays Within 30 days, you should be able to complete advanced Java because it is not used directly in the industry. And in the interview also, they will not ask any questions. And still I have seen some people teaching advanced Java for 5 to 6 months in the Amirpet. Some faculties are teaching advanced Java for 5 to 6 months in the Amirpet. Why? Those faculties don't know real time. Those faculty don't know what is happening in the IT industry. That's why they are wasting the students time they are teaching advanced java for 5 months what is the use is there any interview question from advanced java now are you going to develop any project with advanced java 
JDBC within one week. If you just know how to get the connection, how to insert one record in the table. Katham, that's it. Bus. Servlet. How to deploy one web application by using Servlet. JSP, not required. In my point of view, JDBC you should learn in one week. Servlet you should learn in 10 days. JSP one or two days only. And MVC one week. Within 30 to 40 classes, you should finish Advan Java. Three to four months you have to spend for the spring boot because it is important. That is used in the industry. Advanced Java will not be used directly. But without Advanced Java, you cannot go for the Spring Boot. Basic knowledge of Advanced Java is sufficient. No need to spend four months, five months for Advanced Java. Are you getting my point? Educate your juniors. Who is doing Java full stack in our institute or any other institute? Tell them that. Boss, for Advanced Java, don't spend this much of time. It is waste. Spend the time for the project development. Spend the time for Spring Boot. Spend the time on DevOps tools. Spend the time on cloud computing. Spend the time on the front-end development. That will help them to get the job. You got my point? Good. So when you go for service-based company, what is the interview process? Coding test. Then data structures. Then algorithms. Then for Java. Boot. Microservices. Cloud. Ah, one more thing. Operations. How to run your project by using Docker? How to run your project by using Jenkins? How do you do the code integration in the GitHub? <coughs> Excuse me. How to perform the code review by using Sonar? Those questions also they will ask in the service-based company. Coming to the package. How much we can expect from service-based company? Experience multiplied by 4 lakhs. 4 to 5. Experience multiplied by 4 to 5. So if you are having 3, then you can expect a 12 to 15 lakhs package. Your years of experience multiplied by 4 to 5 lakhs, you can expect from the service-based company. But when you go for product-based company, experience multiplied by 10. High package will be available in the product-based company. Less package will be available in the service-based company. What is outsourcing? They are service-based companies only. Now, nowadays, outsourcing companies are nothing but service-based companies only. They will take you and they will sell you to some other company on the contract basis. So, what is parent company? What is client company, guys? What is the meaning of parent company and what is the meaning of client company? From which company you are getting the salary? That is called your parent company. For which company you are working? That is called your client. So, sometimes you may not go to client company. Some scenarios, you will get selected for HCL. You will work in the HCL project only. That is a rare. But most of the time, HCL will send the employees to other companies. Are you clear? So when you get the interview call from the HR, they will ask you, are you permanent employee? Are you contract employee? You need to tell that I am a permanent employee to the HCL and I am a contract employee to the JPMC. JPMC is my client. HCL is my parent. All the documents and salary you will get from the HCL. But daily you will go to JPMC office. You will have HCL ID card, JPMC ID card also. You got it? Perfect. So you got the clarity on types of companies, types of jobs. Any use of today's session? You learnt anything new today? What you learnt today? What you learned today? We discussed about what is a software project. What is a software project? Okay. Collection of programs is called as a software project. Why to develop software project? It is used to reduce human efforts and it is used to simplify human life. So how many types of projects in the IT? Three. Scratch development, maintenance and migration. What is the meaning of scratch development? Brand new projects will start from zero. Maintenance project means new enhancements will be available. Change request will be available. Bug fixing also will be available. What is the meaning of a migration? Converting project from one technology to another technology. That can be a technology change or that can be a version change also. Then we discussed about software companies. How many types of companies? Three. One is product based. Next one? Service based. Third one, 
outsourcing. What is the meaning of product based? Develop and sell product to the customers. Interview process. Coding test. System design. Problem solving. Design pattern. Data structures. Algorithm. Package. Multiplied by 10 lakhs. Then service based companies. Develop the project based on the client requirement. They will provide service to the clients. Okay. Interview process. They will check your coding skills and they will check your latest technology, full stack development skills also, cloud knowledge, DevOps, front end, back end, everything, tools also you should learn when you are going for service based company. Package, how much we can expect? Experience multiplied by 4 to 5 lakhs. 4 to 5 LPA lakhs per annum. LPA means lakhs per annum. Then what is the meaning of outsourcing? Sell the software engineers to other companies on contract basis. Provides software engineers to other companies on contract basis. So example I told you HCL company will send the employees to JPMC. Okay. And Capgemini will send the employees to DBS. DBS. HCL is doing the outsourcing with JPMC. Capgemini doing outsourcing with the DBS like this. So nowadays most of the service based companies are doing outsourcing business also. Good. Offline students. So we are done with our second session. Any questions anybody? This video also I will share in the YouTube and I will share in the WhatsApp community guys. Good. All good. So we'll continue tomorrow. Online students, any questions anybody?